Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are tackling a question that nearly everyone wonders about. How much sleep do you really need to feel at your best? If you have ever felt groggy after a poor night's sleep or wondered if you can catch up on missed rest, this video is for you. We are breaking down the science, busting some common myths, and giving you the answers to help you optimize your sleep. So let's dive in and uncover what you need to know to feel refreshed and recharge. How much sleep do we actually need? Sleep plays a crucial role in our physical and mental health. It recharges our body, repairs cells, and keeps our brain functioning optimally. Whether you're an athlete, a working professional, or managing family life, sleep is key to peak performance. But how much is enough? When we asked our viewers to share common health myths they believe in, getting exactly eight hours of sleep each night made the list. But is this true? Is the number of hours that matter most? Or is sleep quality more important? Does age affect how much sleep you need? We will break all this down to get to the bottom of the eight hour sleep rule. How much sleep do you need? According to the National Sleep Foundation, adults generally need seven to nine hours of sleep per night. However, factors like age, pregnancy, physical activity, and even your sleep history can all influence how much rest you actually need. If you are getting between seven and nine hours of sleep most nights, you're spending about a third of your life sleeping. But don't worry, those hours aren't wasted. Your body is hard at work repairing and recharging while you rest. High quality sleep means better health, more energy, and sharper focus. Quality versus duration of sleep. Here's a crucial point. Sleep duration isn't the only factor to consider. Sleep quality matters just as much. Getting eight hours of poor quality sleep won't leave you feeling refreshed. But what exactly is sleep quality and how do we measure it? The National Sleep Foundation identifies four key factors. 1. Wakefulness. How long you stay awake after first falling asleep. 2. Sleep latency. How long it takes you to fall asleep. 3. Sleep efficiency. The amount of time you spend actually sleeping while in bed. 4. Sleep waking. How often do you wake up during the night? The next time you feel like you didn't sleep well, ask yourself, did I toss and turn? Wake up a lot. That's a sign of poor sleep quality. Even if you hit the 8 hour mark, it's just not about the number of hours you sleep. It's about the quality of those hours. Sleep needs by age. Age definitely plays a role in how much sleep we need. As infants, we sleep as much as 16 hours a day, but as we grow, the number decreases. Here's a quick breakdown. Ages 3 through 5, 10 to 13 hours per night. Ages 6 through 12, 9 to 12 hours per night. Ages 13 through 18, 8 to 10 hours per night. Adults, 18 plus, 7 to 9 hours per night. Beyond age, factors like pregnancy, exercise, and previous sleep Sleep debt can also affect how much sleep your body needs. Sleep debt is when you fall short of your sleep requirements and it builds up over time. You might try to make it up with naps or sleeping in on weekends, but studies show that it can take days to recover from even an hour of lost sleep. The sleep cycle and stages. Your sleep isn't just one long continuous block. Instead, it cycles through four stages, three stages of non-REM, N-R-E-M sleep, and one REM, rapid eye movement stage. Each cycle lasts about 90 to 110 minutes. You go through about four to six sleep cycles each night, but the deeper stages of sleep like REM and deep sleep are where the magic happens. Stage one, N1, light sleep lasting one to seven minutes. Stage two, N2, deeper sleep lasting 10 to 25 minutes. Stage 3, N3, deep restorative sleep, also called slow wave sleep, lasting 20 to 40 minutes. Stage 4, REM, the dream stage, lasting 10 to 60 minutes, where brain activity increases and plays a role in learning and memory. Why deep sleep is important. Deep sleep, or N3, is the most restorative part of your sleep. This is where your body heals, builds muscle, and strengthens your immune system. It's also essential for cognitive functions like memory and problem solving. The more time you spend in deep sleep, the better you will feel when you wake up. Long-term effects of sleep deprivation. 
Asia. Chronic sleep deprivation can cause some serious consequences. It increases your risk of conditions like heart disease, obesity, diabetes, and even neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. Long-term lack of deep sleep can also impair your memory and cognitive function, making it harder to learn and think clearly. How to improve your sleep quality. If you're not getting enough restorative sleep, here are some tips to help. Stick to a regular sleep schedule. Reduce caffeine intake, especially in the afternoon. Create a relaxing bedtime routine. Meditation or reading can help. Keep your room cool, dark, and quiet. Limit screen time before bed. The take-home message. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to how much sleep you need. While seven to nine hours is a good target for most adults, sleep quality is just as important as duration. If you find yourself building up sleep debt, it's best to address it sooner rather than later. Consistency is key. Establish a routine, aim for high-quality sleep, and let your body guide you toward its optimal rest. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.